have to pay on time. I'm Kelly Highland. I've been here no. for 30 years. I always paid the whole year up front because I'll show you my Discover card payment that shows for the past 10 years I've paid you're you You're the reason I don't even take Discover anymore. I'm entitled to have my opinion. And I'm entitled to my... Why are you entitled, Holly, and not me? You're entitled to your wrong opinion. That's fine. Bam. Who is Abby to be calling Holly out on her fashion sense? I mean, really? My favorite part about Abby's accessories is that they're all organized in a shoebox by color. Red plastic rhinestone crap. Blue plastic rhinestone crap. Abby's really pushing me with the comments about my kids, but she better watch herself, because I'll do a lot more than just tap her with my purse. Brooke, is your mother speaking for you? Do you not want to dance? I just want your mother to quit speaking for you. You're 15 years old. Grow the hell up. You know what? You shut the hell up. See how she talks to me? Abby, if you're not happy with my kid because she doesn't sit here and smart mouth you and say something bad, we will leave. That's fine. Kelly, why? I don't, I'm you just know asking. Don't even I'm speak I'm just to asking. Me. Oh. Don't even speak to me. Oh, why can't I speak to you? Because I don't want to speak to you. We're coming into this all new. And so I just want to know what we're getting into. A bully for a teacher. Here's your costumes. Enjoy the dance. It's girls. Let's go. Kelly, we don't want you to go. The girls, do you, you guys well, don't want to go. obviously she wants someone who has never danced here take both of my kids' place. No, no the kids want to dance. That's not Brooke, how she, she does that. That's not why she came No, you, you said... just sit here and say that my daughter looks miserable, so maybe we should put Kalani in her place. No, I never said yes, that. Yes, you most certainly no, did. No, I didn't, ding that. Listen, I said, Brooke, is your mother Get speaking your for finger you? Get your finger out of my here? face. Girls, out the room. Yeah, you wouldn't even the room. Oh my gosh, really? It's like deja vu. You can't jump on a trampoline, can you? Not really. Oh, I'm even crying. I mean, you seem so healthy. You know, you can go everywhere and um, you can swim, right? You want to go swimming with us tonight? OK. Our girls are so fortunate. They can do whatever they want. They can jump on a trampoline. They can jump. Hannah can't do all those things. So, Kathy, no one wants you here. Do you think if I throw this here. on in a your mouth. Shut yes. your Woo! mouth. That was good. No, 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 I didn't, didn't mean to do that. Let me see it. Let I didn't see mean, it. didn't mean to do that. No, let I really, I thought the witch would melt. No, I'm I really, did. I apologize. Okay. I didn't even know the lid was off. You know what? Because I didn't mean to do that either. If Christy can come after me. Get out. Oh, my God. You are such a bitch. Oh, please. Fine. I got 150. You know, come on. Bring it on. Don't do it. That woman just hit me. I don't want to speak about Christy. It's just exhausting. All right, well, let's get Christy out here and see what she has to say. Christy, come on out. I know crazy dance moms, you know, and like we're here, you know, Melissa's here, and Jill's like a whole nother level. Yo, let me see her costume. Okay, okay. this is the white costume. Okay. You did not whip that up last night. Oh, I never whipped it up last night. You didn't say go home and whip up. I'm not Becky Homecky. I don't whip up costumes. Where did that costume come from? Because it's obviously not pieces of something you pulled together. I just wanted to this use the pieces that you had at home and come up with something at the last minute. This is what I came up with. Well, whose is that, may I ask? This is Kendall's costume. You have not seen her in this costume. Somebody somewhere has Kendall's seen her in it. Kendall's old costume. It's Kendall's costume now. It's not one of her old costumes. I'm trying to teach the children a lesson. They don't need a $500 costume to win. You have something at home, make it it's work. It's not about winning. It's That's... about what I want to put my daughter in. No, it's about what I want to put your daughter in. Whipped up Go look costume. at what you have, figure it out, put it on the kid. That That's looks what I did. like That's a what I did. Gown. Brooke went out there in a $30 leotard and, and she danced did great. beautifully. I can't believe you guys wouldn't back me up on this. Because we're following the rules. You're not. She's I'm going like, out there in the like gymnasium flower. in her costume that I brought for her. You're looking me in the eye. This Has is her costume. Has she ever worn that costume in a competition or a stage or a show or a showcase or a performance or a school gig or anything else? Yes. But you haven't seen her in it. None of you have seen her in it. I don't care if somebody else in the world did. What are you doing? I'm going. I'm leaving. You don't want me here. I'll just make no. it easier for we you. We want you here. We want you to play by the rules. Whatever. Whatever. I'll pack my bags this. and go home right now. Is that? Would that make you guys all really happy? No, that would not make me happy. Because that's and what you know I'm doing. I'm sick of this. You're, it's gonna done. Be, it's gonna be I'm your done. job that loses out. Good it's your for job. you. Jill's throwing shoes and she's cursing and all I'm thinking is you are so hard to take seriously wearing that hat. Yeah, you know what? You're exactly right. It's supposed to be about the kids. Let her wear the damn costume. Anybody 
know anything about this diary of Anne Frank? Because I have no clue of the story. I can't believe that Kelly doesn't know who Anne Frank is. I mean, that's a standard part of curriculum in middle school. You don't have to read the diary of Anne Frank. No. Nope. Cartwell. Easy, easy. I don't really know much about Anne Frank, but what I do know is that I don't think she was doing cartwells. I hate those pants on Melissa. I'm sorry. Yeah, I do too. Mm. I get worked up. You know why? Because it's a piece of me that's on stage. Because I'm so passionate. That hurts my feelings. Think about what you did in that area. It went down. I know, but that's dangerous. What if she was at Radio City Music Hall? And the thing was open for the ice skating ring to come out, and she did a side area and fell 13 stories down and died. Huh? How did you go from looking like you were shooting a movie and you were the dance captain to in the back corner, stage right, turning into oblivion? Baby, let's roll the dice. I'm sorry, my hat messed me up. Mia, I was in the theater when a man's hand was severed by a set coming down. Nobody missed a beat of their dance. Do I expect Nia to dance if her hat falls off? Yes, Abby. But if Nia's hand gets chopped off, she's going to stop dancing, and she's going to mess up the group routine. What's going on? My mom wants me to do a solo, and I'm not doing it because you told me not to. I just want her to be able to showcase her talent every week. I understand your mother wants you to dance. What does she need to do? Where does she need to go? She doesn't What's need to this? do anything. She's fine. I love her. I think she's been saying great. Do you fit in? I don't want another Christy and Kelly on my team. And I have told you once, and now I'm telling you again. No solo today. Abby's girls come out, and, you know, at first I'm thinking she's dragging out this crappy-looking car seat. Did that come off of Christy's front porch? I don't know. I need to go somewhere else. I don't. Me and Christy. Christy and I, you idiot. Christy and I. Oh. the clip where she says the F word 11 times. Uh, you know what? Desk. And you know what's funny is that Christy Ray came in and said the F word. Kira says the F word. That new team you brought in said the F word. But what I, me and Kelly, Kelly and I say it, it's blasphemy. Where does she go at night? She's usually going to like McDonald's or something. No, that's literally where she goes. Sorry, Abby, they're making me do this. <gasps> I took my shoes off. <laughs> Shh. Pretend oh you do God. not know She's her. She's going back. Pretend you don't know her. Oh, <laughs> yeah, okay. Now, if that were me or Kelly, oh, we'd have been killed. Oh, you'd be kicked off the team. You no, she had a sniper in the audience. <laughs> Boom. I have a legitimate question. How in God's name do you get away with the crap you get away with? What did I do? You went on stage. Took off your shoes and ran off the stage. Two times. Two we would have known and Five. addressed the audience. If I ran across the stage, you would have killed me. And me. Why did you do that? What on earth possessed you to not walk around the back of the stage? You know better, Melissa. I do know better. Backstage, they told me, just run across the stage. And I'm like, who? Who told you? The person backstage. But you listened to them. They just said, just run across real quick. You knew it was wrong. You knew that I would flip out. You knew it wasn't fair to the children, the judges, the owner of the competition. But a mommy went backstage and ran across the stage. This is a child's dance competition and you shouldn't have ran across the stage. Am I supposed to yell at her in the front of the audience like everybody else? Bradley is like a freaking psycho cyclone. Like, Pete should be on the team. Can I be on the team? I want to be on the team. But I didn't say I wanted to be on the team. You said I wanted to be on the team. But I wanted to be on the team. But you didn't say I wanted to be on the team. Christy, why don't you want me on the team? Do you want us to be right now hands on moms? Because you just told me her mom didn't love her. Abby, what's the status with Rosa Parks? Have you seen the number long enough to figure out who's going to play? I just the started part? the number. I didn't even get the props in the street. Yeah, well, yet. that's why I asked what the status is. What are you thinking about it? I can't believe Jill's lobbying for her daughter to take this part away from Nia. Jill, I brought you along to kind of be a buffer, not to absorb opportunities for your child to get ahead. I don't know. I mean, you know, come on. Maddie's the strongest answer. So I don't know if I'm going to use her for Rosa Parks and go against type. I have no idea. I, I know you want Kendall to work on her face. And if that's what you want, then I need to get that for Kendall. You know what, Jill? If she gets it, she's going to get it on her own. Excuse me, Jill. I'm going to get back to her. Okay. I okay. actually asked her for that part. No. What? No. I said... <laughs> It, it would be a good part for Kendall because she needs to work on her acting and her face. 
I really think you're like delusional no, about I didn't Jill. Say, that you think that that's Kendall. a good part for her. I don't understand why these moms are so upset over this. Their kids get lead roles all the time. Kendall does not. Kendall always gets overlooked. Here's an opportunity for my child to have a lead role, and it's driving them crazy. The only one who gets in trouble for wanting something. You asked Abby if Kendall could be Rosa Parks. That's no, a little crazy. No, I didn't. You weren't there. Kendall never had a special part, people. I think every one of your kids has. Jill will do anything for a special part, even if it means that Kendall is Rosa Parks. Really? If anybody is Rosa Nia. Parks but Nia, I'm not watching the dance. And I don't think that anyone should be Rosa Parks but Nia. Why these moms are coming down on me so hard, I, I can't stand it. We think you should go down and say, you know what? I think I was mistaken. I don't think that this would be a good part for Kendall. I think Nia fits this role. Just act stupid and be like, I thought Rosa Parks was somebody different. I thought she was, I thought she was a, a, a immigrant. thin white girl with brown hair and brown eyes. <laughs> Abby, do you have a minute? I just need to let you know that Christy and Kelly are going berserk that they think Kendall is playing Rosa Parks. Oh, wait, let me just say for the record, she just threw all of us under the bus. The mom said Kendall can't be Rosa Parks. What do you think? Nia needs to think she has competition. I can't just hand it to her on a platter. Healthy competition is good for every dancer. But leave it to the moms to get involved and mess it all up. But why is that bimbo running this studio? It would make perfect sense for Nia to play Rosa Parks. They badgered me and badgered me. And until you can't I, I did because I had so to. So you just took your kid and put her on the back burner for somebody wow. else. Kendall's never had special parts. So this might be the last one the poor kid ever gets. And here I am letting these moms badger me into taking it away from her. I can't win, really. Kendall, your mother just took you out of the running for Rosa Parks. Nia, you will be playing the part of Rosa Parks. What about the group? Brooke? Were you just waiting at the bus stop for the bus? <laughs> what? I don't know what happened out there, but the bus was moving, the bus was happening, and Brooke was just kind of standing at the bus stop waiting for everybody to get on the bus. <laughs> what did she do? Nothing. That's the problem. I didn't want to. <laughs> Melissa, we'll go I'm in as long as you say something. I'm not saying anything. Melissa talks a lot of smack when Kathy's not around, but when Kathy's around, Melissa's all like, oh, Kathy, I love your dress. He just gave your two kids solos. There's no one else on a team! Holly, why can't you just admit Abby just gave your kid a solo? That there's no one else here. We shouldn't get the empty chair. Empty chair, do a solo. My gosh, there's no one else left on the team today. There's no one else you could give a solo to. I don't know what you want from me, Jill. Well, let me tell you. Be quiet for one minute, and I'll tell you. Go ahead, Jill. Are you done? I would like for you to say, Abby gave my kid a solo today. This is a good day for Nia. You know what, Jill? Are you done? I'm finished. Abby gave Nia a solo today. Today is a good day for Nia because she got the solo by default. OK, there you go. I walk into the studio and Gia's sitting at the front desk and I just assume that Abby's at a headband sale somewhere. I've been here all day making costumes for you while you were down the road eating. Stop eating, that's why you're fat. Bye-bye. Your size nor your mouth intimidate me. What? Pardon me? Pardon me? Oh, don't we get posh. You don't even know how to stand. What? And you want to teach kids how to dance? You know how to stand? Yes, I do, oh, sweetheart. You can't even get down into a chair. Oh, you're full of crap. All your kids' mothers calling me behind your oh, back no, they to bring your no, kids you to me. Yes, they do. You just said you think your kid has her beat. How is that not slapping somebody in the face? Well, and I you wasn't coming in slapping her in the face. I'm not part of the team yet, and I will continue yet. yet. I think she has her beat. That's my personal opinion, and I have it. Say that when your kid has a perfect performance, because your kid's performance was not good. When, when the I said arms I'm a like this. OK, enough for the dramatics. Because there's plenty of things like. that I could have pointed out about Kehlani. Really? Uh -oh. About my kid? Oh, don't even start. I said really? there are plenty of things.
things that I can point out, but why? About my kid? About your kid. You know what? Oh, this. Kalani would put your kid in a grave. She's 13. 13. She would have put your kid in a grave 10 years ago. Grave? You She's know what? 10 times you the dancer what? your kid would ever be. Back off. Oh, no, get out. You gotta hand it to Kira. If you talk on her kid, she's gonna throw it down with you, and I'm glad she threw it down with Jeanette. Where are these children immigrating from? We don't know. They're trying to cross the border. It's not about where they're coming from and where they're going. It's about the voyage home. I'm listening to Abby's definition of immigration, and I'm confused. How on earth can you immigrate home? I need to get to the bottom of this foot thing. Mackenzie and Melissa, their stories just start adding up. There's one way to find out what's really going on. Interrogation tactics. Brooke, I want you to line everybody up. Right here, facing that way. Come on, let's go. Maddie. Yes, ma'am. Did Mackenzie go to the hospital when she left dance class? Yes, ma'am. Nina. Yes, ma'am. Did you witness Mackenzie doing cartwheels in here? I didn't see her do a cartwheel. Don't you lie to me. I just saw her walk. You saw her walk. Did she limp? Yeah. She doesn't have a broken foot. It's a sprained ankle. You can walk on a sprained ankle. Did anybody else witness Mackenzie out of the chair doing a trick or upside down? Finally, the truth comes out. I knew these kids would crack under pressure. But girl, go potty. Come on. I think Jill saw an opening on Abby's Pyramid of Moms, and she's like, oh, Melissa's fallen from grace. I will walk the dog so I can be at the top of the mom pyramid. Come on, come see your mama. She'll bark when she sees her. Well, I bark when I see Abby, too. Okay. Run. We quit running like a little kid. You're a warrior. Run. You're fighting for your country. Run. Chase her. Go. Chase her. Keep running. Chasing her! What? You think it's kind of stupid that the boys are just pretending that there's mm -hmm. a girl? Why not get a girl? It's not yeah. like we don't have a whole dance studio full of girls, right? Yeah. You wouldn't want to do it, would you? No. No, I didn't think so. I'm not engaging. Well, why'd you say something to begin with? I'm disengaging. Mm. Your mother-in-law's not real thrilled with the way you talk. Oh, yeah, she is. She's fine with it. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom must be real proud of you, too, Abby. My mom's dead. Hey. Hi, girl. Thank God the kids came in because this was getting awkward real fast. Don't slam my door. I'll slam whatever I want. Dr. Holly might have a PhD in education, but Melissa has a PhD in kissing Abby's ass. Stand on my credentials and my knowledge. That's fine. It's something you can never take away. Then fix this hair, because it's horrible. And you horrible. Want you fix your hair, and fix your face, and your body, and everything else. And That's right? fine. When I join your dance company, I'll do Let's it. Let's start critiquing people. Let's start with you. Look in the mirror. You went against us and hurt them. I did not hurt your kids. Yes, you did. Okay, whatever. I hurt your kids. I'm a bad person. Kill me. I'm sure you wish I would die in a car accident, too. Oh, no, Melissa. Oh, my God. And on top of the pyramid... Oh. ...is Brooke. Ah. Abby unveils the top of the pyramid, and I thought, you get them, sister, because you left and you went and you tried out for cheerleading and you still made it to the top of the pyramid. No offense to Peyton, but she towers over this dance team. She doesn't fit in with these girls. Now, my little Kendall fits right in perfectly. That lass has class. This chick is hip. And if she takes you on her ride, it's a real crazy trip. Those lips, those hips, beyond compare, that sway so gently as they twist. The moment that she passed my arm, the moment that she smiled, she changed the dance. She changed the dance. 
dance. I pretty much took center stage and I improvised, but I think that the moms probably should have expected that being a dance teacher, I was gonna put some of my own thing into it to jazz it up. They should have expected that. And if they didn't, then they got caught with their pants down. She changed the dance. She's doing a solo out there. What is she doing? She's trying to upstage everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Abby said that for our group dance, Private Eyes, we were going to use plastic guns. And then she said we were going to blow the competition away. And I don't, I, I really hope she doesn't mean literally, because we could get disqualified. When the words start speaking for the group dance, because there is no music, the girls start crawling around on the floor and like punching themselves in the face. And I thought, well, okay, at least you're being the best that you can be. What do you think happened? I don't know. Can we talk about something else? Like, look how high that roller coaster is. See, look, 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 look. Uh, uh. I think Brandon likes me, but I've moved on. I'm not really the same person I was when I was nine years old. Oh, this is neat. This is like Dungeons and Dragons. Jill's right. We're all in the dungeon. And Abby's the dragon. Over here, this group will also be doing a contemporary routine entitled The Rapture. Christy, do you want to explain what The Rapture is since you always have so much to say? They won't be a part of it, so I don't think it really matters. Oh! Um, that was the most unchristian thing you've ever I, said yeah, in your exactly. entire life. Yeah, exactly. Truth hurts. Walk, walk, woohoo! Walk, 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 woohoo! Smaller steps, wah -ah! One, two, three, woohoo! remember any of these new mom's names because to me they're all just vanilla so I had to assign my own name so I can remember them the one with the purple hair she's dud muffin because she's about as fun as a dud then I have boring glory every time she opens her mouth it's like wah, wah, wah. then we have frumple stiltskin then I have count stockula because that tall one has been stalking us for three years desperate to get her kid on the team and the one with the red head she's just what's her face because I can't remember that woman's name and then there's Christy She's like a Bible-thumping, fire and brimstone, Old Testament-style dance mom. I like that we're now calling Christy Christy because otherwise you might get us confused. You gotta dance like you want a puppy. You gotta earn your puppy. Now's the time, okay? That was our deal, yes? Now's the time to earn our puppy. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. Okay, we ready? Oh my God, I did that? Yeah. I tied my finger on my mom's wing. I hope I can show dance. It wasn't just Abby going in the dunk tank. It was a sea creature. A big and powerful sea creature. It's the truth. <laughs> Did you call me a liar? Aha, uh -huh. if the shoe fits, wear it. My solo this week is called Careless, and it's a lyrical number. Abby gave this to me because she knows I could care less about dance. So that is why I am doing this solo. The plan is to prove what we have known all along, that Maddie gets extra private time. We know it's going on, we need proof. We have to videotape it because Melissa always says, oh, my kids don't learn it. And every week we see it, but we never have evidence. I am so sick of Melissa sitting upstairs and lying to us every week. Oh, my kids didn't learn their solos. They just happen to know by osmosis which move comes next. No, they happen to know which move comes next because they already learned their dance. All right. We know what's going on. All right, let's do it. How do you think those kids go in there and know everything? It's not because they're like just super geniuses. They, they can learn it. <laughs> Wait, look, Gia and Janine's cars are here. Janine always choreographs wow. Mackenzie, and Gia, Gia does, does Maddie. Maddie. <gasps> They're, both. They're both learning their dances. I knew that Maddie and Mackenzie were inside getting extra rehearsal time, extra privates, and you know what? Melissa just doesn't play fair. Or what am I recording? Just the sound, or do you want me to... No, I want you to get in that studio. I'll stand watch. 
Jill likes to get to the bottom of things. She likes to know everything that's going on. So clearly, if there's a secret, Jill's the one who's going to unearth it. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Other in my pocket. Who wants to partner in crime like Kelly? I have you. Did you get video? I got video. <gasps> Who? Maddie. Oh. Walk. Walk. Shoot, look. Oh my God. Jill, go down there and do it with Maddie. Oh my God. Oh. Look. She's cute. She's little. Oh, she's like a cupcake. We just want to eat her up. Five, six, seven, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah! <laughs> oh my god, my mom said she used to be a good dancer. <laughs> Things have changed. I never really took dance as a kid. Maddie makes it look so easy. I just thought it would be a breeze. Oh my god, Holly! You are amazing! Let's do it together! Holly had some African dance in college, and she had a real easy rhythm about her, like she was like a lioness. So I was very excited to utilize Holly and what she could do. Oh, uh, yesterday they had a 12-hour rehearsal. Yeah, I saw that. 12 hour? Who rehearses for 12 hours? You can just try to psych us out. Can I give you like a little word of advice? They're flashy dancers. They're gonna come out and they're gonna turn and they're gonna be ba-boom. They're gonna have these little fancy costumes. You don't have that. What you do have that they don't is classic, old world, um, I don't know. They're not you guys. Wow, thanks, Mom. I thought Abby's pep talks were bad. Hers are pretty bad. <laughs> Leslie really wants Kelly's spot, and she really wants to be on the team, and Peyton really deserves to be on the team, and Leslie really is already part of the team, and she's on the team, but she doesn't want to be on the team if we're on the team, so she doesn't want us on the team so she can be on the team. All three of you were in the group. We did not win at the competition. Was it because I didn't dance with the team? Abby, it was because they were better that time. The group was just to entertain. It wasn't really a competition dance. Touché. That means you are spot on. That was close. You are a monstrosity of evil. You want to talk about ugliness. You're done. You're done. No duet. Whatever. I'm a monstrosity of evil? Yes, you I'll are. i you evil. And you're a witch. Pardon me? I said you're a witch. Oh, I am. I'm on my broom. Let's go. Hey, what'd you think about Ava? I, I thought she was great. Quit teaching acrobatics stuff because you don't know your stuff. You know what? Learn what a kip is. This is exactly why I am so glad I'm not a part of your team anymore because all you do is pick, 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 pick. I didn't. You asked me how your daughter was. I told you I thought she looked great. Okay, that's it. That's all you have to say. You need Just to leave say. it. Leave it alone. Just shut your mouth after that. Don't tell me to shut my mouth. Pay by numbers, hair. Hey, Abby, listen. I don't want. I don't you know what? want. You, you shouldn't be in here. And I'm, don't. I don't care what you want. It's not about what you want. I, I don't know who here. you are, but you shouldn't be in this dressing room. I brought her in here with me. I know, but why are you in here? You're in the school here. suddenly? Right. You didn't ask. You didn't it say, excuse matter. me, Abby, could I speak to you? Here's you the just, thing. I want, I, I want, I want. I came I in want here you to out be a good sport. So I've never been a good sport. And I am going to leave. Because I did the right thing by coming in here. You're not a good sport, and you're a nervous wreck when you speak, and it's obvious. I'm a nervous wreck? Good luck. Well, if you knew anything about show business, you would know not to say good luck. I can say good luck, break a leg, it doesn't matter. Yes, it does You get asked out, I get asked back. Go, stalker! And your jacket should be longer than your shirt. This isn't a church, Holly, it's a dance studio. I got God all on my thigh. He comes with me wherever I go. got God on your thighs, too. There's something that says, like, if a teacher doesn't come within so many minutes, you can leave. We all walk into the studio for rehearsals today, and everyone's like, oh, where's Abby? Where's Abby? And I'm all like, who the hell cares? Pardon? What are you doing? Those legs are about as straight as Elton John. Go. We should go out. Oh, yeah. Like, like what is that called? Uh, Where all the bars are on the one street. Rehab? <laughs> no! I know that you were asking for a club. When has Abby Lee Miller ever put a number on stage without some type of headpiece? I was having a good old time shooting up the moms in the dressing room. Oh, Can you help me? That was like a fantasy. No? People are living with the ribbon. People are living with cancer every day. And that's what you're showing. That's what the dance is about. Are you crying because I'm sad? Who, who, who passed away? 
Well, my dad, when I wasn't born, but it was like a long time ago, my dad, his dog Diablo died. It was just so hard for him. His what? His, his daughter? No, his dog. <laughs> <laughs> I told her she could take Brooke's crown and shove it up her ass. And you know, I really do mean that. I would love for you to do the honors of wearing a candy apple jacket for us. Would you do that? Thank you so much, and thanks for having us. Why didn't you bring the jean jacket for him? With all the rhinestones? One thing you have to say for Kathy, she has no shame. Like, here you go, bribe the judge. Candy apples rule. And now I want to sit back and relax and enjoy my evening. When all of a sudden, I hear this agitating, grating voice. Hypocrite. You're and a you're a joke. joke in the dance community. Oh, yes. Oh, no, doll. I oh, know, I yes, you, you are. I don't hate any news. news. Listen, you know what's red and white and black all over? The obituaries. No, and that's where you, you belong. You know about an obituary. JoJo, you were fifth in the competition. You're fifth on the pyramid. Sometimes you act like a five-year-old. Maybe five is your lucky number, or not so lucky number. She did a good job last week. She did a solo, you poured blood on her, you put a four-inch crown on her head. She did a good job. Keep telling her. She Keep did telling a good her. job. She did a good job. Keep telling I'm her. telling you. You should have watched the movie. When you're given an assignment, you do it. But I'm in a hotel room in a scary movie, just... No, we're not gonna do it. I'm not gonna have her be scared for the next six months because she watched the movie you wanted her to watch. Like, we did the dance. We watched the trailer. I told her what it was about. You didn't change your emotion. You were you had one look on your face the entire time. It was good. She was possessed. It was good. Well, if you're so good, you don't really need to be a part of the Abby the Dance Company. Can you put her picture back up? She deserves to be on the pyramid. She was in the group dance. She deserves nothing. Don't have an attitude that you are entitled in this world. You are not. You deserve nothing else. You earn it. You can't stand here and cry. I will no, 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 no crying children. Not. Well, if you yell at me, I'm gonna cry. Get out. Go. Let's go. Let's go. Go. Let's go. Let's go. We're going home right now. I think we can make that one costume kind of look like this. Melissa, you don't even sew. You have zero talent. I know. I know. I right. I'm just saying. I'm all. All I'm saying is Kelly was vital to the team. She was the team player. But Abby, oh, we girls. are oh, here. Oh, 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 oh. And where's her costume? You don't do that to your team members. Hey, I want you to call Kelly again. Call her right now. Yeah, honey, guess what? You'll be getting a call from my attorney. Dad will know his name. You don't need to know my attorney's name. Oh. You want to talk like that in front of your kid? That's your business, but you don't talk like that in front of everyone else's kid. That's what you and your husband do in your house. That's not what happens here. You don't know what goes on in my house because you're not invited over because we don't let trash through the door. This is completely getting out of hand. Keep and talking, I... Christy. Keep it up. Okay, yeah, so you can turn it around and cry. It's a pity party for you. Paige is gonna get tortured. No, yeah, she's in a good mood. You were her servant no, today. No, you, yeah, you, you hooked her up. You only stole two things. And... <laughs> Shut up, Jill. I think you're, you're ahead of the game. Yeah, it's a lot, kids. I do everything. I can do anything. What's your favorite style to be solo? I wish I could do a tap solo because I'm, oh. I'm, what? She's really, she's really, she was, she's really good, good at tap. Really? I'm really advanced. Really? Yeah. I'm a tapper. Wow. Following in Maddie's footsteps. 
saying that you miss Abby when she's not here is saying like you miss a hemorrhoid. Do you really? Brynn, will you be a resident of the Abby Ladies Company? Welcome to the dark set. Or just visiting. It's like applying Monopoly. You're either in jail or you're just visiting. We're not mentioning jail. <laughs> Poor choice of words. <laughs> oh, Lord. Look, she's got her foot beveled. Oh, oh, oh the head's gone. Oh, oh, God. The torpedoes are out. Abby loves herself a drag queen dance. Oh, Lord, help oh, us all. watch out. Everybody get out your mental scrub brush. OK, here she goes. I hope Woo. she didn't do that for her date. Oh, the wrists oh, are uh -oh. limp. Oh, gross. Whatever that move is. Here it comes. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, my God. I think she thinks she looks good doing that stuff. I don't think that looks good. Why do you laugh? Because if it wasn't for all of us. If it wasn't okay. for all of us. Listen. Listen to me. I'm listening. You're the god. I know. You make a point to tell all of us. F you. When Christy opens up that beak, she sounds like a drunken sailor. Every four-letter word just rolls right out of her mouth. Hi. Hi. How is everybody? Your first day. It's my first day. I'm Jill. Christy. So nice, nice to, to meet, meet you, you Christy. I'm Melissa. I'm Melissa. I love Jill's voice. I think it's very 900 number. Oh, Holly. Holly. What's been going on? You are never going to believe who uh, came into Pyramid today. I'll give you three guesses. Jill? Yes! What's she doing to her? And she had her 900 voice That's on. what I said. But wait, no, oh. even better, she got Kelly's haircut and it's blonde. My <laughs> color. Oh, yeah. I got and there were two. I know. You know what, Nobody though? Nobody likes us. The two bitches are left. <laughs> I don't like your spoon. Holly? Yep. Holly, nope. that's one of my favorite wait. story. Oh, wait. Jill. What? Let me tell you the story. Oh, goodness. Uh, a couple years ago, before you were on the competition team, you might have been on studio number eight at that point. Because <laughs> this is a studio of 10. Holly, that wasn't even funny. OK, go ahead. Holly was in a competition. And she so graciously offered Abby a cot in her room. Sort of. She and said, so, do you have a room? I'm like, I, I did. I couldn't say no. And so Holly's like, I'll get you a cot. I did say that. And so Holly is laying in bed with Nia. Then at one point during the night, she felt the bed indenting. Is this a true story? Oh, yeah. I wish I could and say she looked over it was and not. Abby was like army crawling towards her. <laughs> okay, now that's an embellishment. And then she grabbed her legs and arms around Holly like this. No, no, like this. is this spoony? This is not even spoony. Like this. this is spoony. This is spoony. Invasion of personal. So she climbed in bed with you. Yes, that and is true. And Holly was like this. You woke up in the morning with Abby in your bed. Oh yeah, that happened. Put a ring on it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's this. Joe, oh, Joe, there. there's people. Look, have you ever faked an orgasm? No, she's never had one. <laughs> <laughs> Christy and Holly verbally assaulted me. Dawn's daughter was called into my class for a routine that she was picked special for. And she had socks and a t-shirt on. I don't care if you're taken, I'm going in to kill it. They were to wear tights and a leotard. I made two other children change their clothes. Because it's acro, we're doing a lot on our knees, and they have to be in their bare feet. May I speak to you a minute? No, I'm in person. I want to speak to you. You don't throw my kid out of class. I paid for class. She's not dressed appropriately. I'm looking at every single kid out here, Abby. They all look like children. Isn't that crazy that children look like children? She's dressed appropriately. You're the minister. Yes, I am a minister. Let's play the Bible game, Abby. When Jesus saw things that were wrong, he went after it. And I'll tell you what, you're not gonna do this to my kid! Out of the room. Out. Out. Reagan, goodbye. Out. Out. You're not throwing her out! Oh, yes I am, and you with her. Go. No, you're not! Yes. Every week we put the trash out. Go. Then take yourself out, because you're the biggest piece of trash there is! You cannot take acrobatic class in socks. 
I told you to close and tuck in your two-piece costume. There's a big difference. How can you remember that and you can't remember to turn your feet out? Huh? That's pathetic. Go somewhere else. Take your money. Take your kid. Take your socks. Find another school. Does it not hit in your head that maybe you're wrong? No. Do you not get no. it? I don't get it. I know I'm right. I... Why are you right? It's my building. Why my name's on the front. So what? You keep telling her how stupid she is. She's you know not what? stupid. It's she just so can't read. The, you know, the, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. <laughs> so you're saying I'm stupid? Well, are you? Because I have more education than you will ever have. Than you will ever have. Because I went to school. Unfortunately, you didn't. Yeah, have your phone. Call the police. Go for it. I'm sorry, Go girls. Go for it. There's a psycho in every batch. A psycho. Yes, her name's Abigail Miller. Hi, uh, I need a uh, police at 7123 Salzburg. You okay, John? No, no. Okay. No, I'm not. I have an, uh, an apparent that's out of control. I can't stand her. Pardon? She does not have weapons, just her mouth. Why didn't someone like this thing tell us that? Then I would have put her in. Do you, do you know the order of the solos? Have you learned nothing? A little hard on JoJo. One of the things that you were really outspoken about was JoJo doing a master class. Let's take a look at some of the things you're talking about. Let me ask you a question, JoJo. What do you think constitutes being a master teacher? Master I, teacher? Yeah, I see that you're having master classes. What do you know about being a master instructor? I really think you have to be careful with that word because a master teacher is somebody that has earned that title. Mm -hmm. Somebody that has produced professional dancers. So, because some kid wants to make a quick buck on the weekend because daddy doesn't earn enough money, that's not really a master instructor. First of all, JoJo is not teaching the class. She's in the class. It doesn't say that in your ad. So don't go out there and say you're that without having what it takes to back it up. <laughs> Are she crying? Well, Abby started that. It just sucks that it gets on me. <laughs> Jessalyn, what's your reaction to that? I get that you like to stalk JoJo on Instagram, and I think that if you would have went to no, the... No, I follow her on Instagram, and when it pops up, right. and I happen to and have I my phone open... I think that if you would have actually taken the time to read it... I don't stalk anyone. I don't have that kind of time. It actually said, this is not a master class. You jump off the well, ship there are right other away. 13, 14 year olds out there. Abby, you had, to teach you master had a company classes. when you were 14. I'm guessing you are not a master of anything then. I don't care who's out there. Okay, even if you see Jesus out there. Who's she gonna see? Jesus. Like, not some guy named Jesus. <laughs> Did you hear me, babe? Even if you see Jesus, you're staying focused. Now, so when I used to say things, Abby would flip out. <laughs> That's like the best pep talk I've ever heard. Even if you see Jesus out there, I you like that comment myself. I'm like, I may have to use that sometime. I do like it. Honey, if I had lips the size of she has short, like a, a haircut that's like cool and trendy, like it's long in the front and short in the back. Hey guys, I'm here. I'm very sick. But you do have a hairbrush, right? What? Abby, your hair. Yeah, I said I'm gonna go. Just to because you have a rash doesn't mean you can't brush your hair. It's in roll. It's in. Have you curls. looked in the mirror? You're very vain. I have confidence no matter what. Okay, Ellie, are you ready? Yes. Superstar? What superstar are you imagine in your head? Who are you gonna be? Selena. Selena Gomez? No. Who? Just Selena. Oh, just Selena. Just Selena? Okay, got it. The person who killed her was named Yolanda, and that's my mom's name. So. <laughs> oh, I did not know that. I just thought you meant like Selena Gomez, which that's cool too, I guess. Oh, oh pretty. Pretty. Pretty, pretty. Pretty, pretty. pretty, pretty. Oh, I love the back. I, like the I think it's beautiful. That's pretty.
Can you come with me for a minute? Yeah. Keep going. Up. Up. Keep it. Oh, Abby wasn't going to give me the script. You found one for me. Now Kalani doesn't have a script. Abby did get a casting call for all the girls to go to. JoJo not included. Gia gave them all sides to read. Not JoJo. All right. So there, we might have to go quick. So this is Ellie, the little girl, 12 to 14. So like, really? Wow. Wow. Hey. Sorry. I was sorry. I didn't it's okay, honey. Um, really? Wow. Thanks. Jess and Jojo are in the studio and they're just like rehearsing the script in there. How'd they get Where'd it? Where'd they get it? No, don't do they're it. I, no, let them be. Just let them do it. You know what? Jojo took Kalani's sides and practiced. She's a rude person. She took that out of your daughter's purse. That's she took great. it out of Kalani's purse? Yeah. And she's, I mean, it's just rude. If she wanted to borrow it, that's fine. We would totally give it to her, but she took it out of your daughter's purse. It's rude to go in someone's purse. Sorry. I mean, like, I don't care. Oh, yeah, I'm here. She goes, it was on the floor, and Kalani just told me it was in her purse. You go lay us over. Okay. Did you go in my daughter's purse? No, this is laying on the floor. Then why would she say that you went in my daughter's purse? Why would I go in your daughter's purse? I don't know, but that's Kalani's. It was laying on the floor. It's a Kalani's. It was laying on the floor. It's not Do you not give a you about it? One. Do you not give a about Your it? You just throw it on one. the floor. You don't care about it here. Am like, I the one that threw it on the floor or did yeah, Kalani? Yeah, probably. Really? You because I think you got it out of a purse. Yeah. Why don't you start to care? Why don't you start to care, Kara? I love dancing, but I don't want to go on Broadway. All I want to do is just stay home and eat chips. Do you think Maddie's sad she doesn't have a solo? Um, she's happy she has a duet. Is she happy? So, yeah. Are you okay she's, with that? Oh, yeah. She's tickle pink. That much time ago, you were doing a solo and had the top of the pyramid. And now you're her duet partner? A duet or a trio is still a lovely thing to do. That's why I said it's, I think it is. It's not a downgraded opportunity. So you don't feel like that's a downgrade? No, absolutely not. I think a duet is... A, a great dance. Hey, uh, what'd you think about the duet? Not happy about that, but... Maddie was the one doing a solo every week, and now she's doing a duet with Kendall? Yeah. yeah. Did Melissa just admit to me that she's not happy Maddie has a duet with Kendall? Interesting. What concerns me the most is that you came in and told Maddie that she's been downgraded to a duet with Kendall. I don't think it was, that was fair to say. Well, hey, Melissa was the one that stood in the store and told me she wasn't thrilled about her kid doing a duet with Kendall. Abby told me last night that you weren't happy about doing a duet what, with Kendall. What? And it, and it hurts my feelings. Well, I mean, I don't want to get all angry and scream. I never said that. Well, why would Abby tell me that? She lies all the time. Never said that. Well, tell me yeah. how the conversation I told you. went that she would get that, that you weren't happy about. Never doing. said it. Jill. I guess what hurts the most is, one, that Abby truly believes that you think Maddie's too good to dance with Kendall. I never said that. And that is hurtful. Well, it's really funny. And really disappointing, because Christy sat here and asked you how many times. I'm excited. And you told me how excited. I well, told I'm you. Well, I'm very excited. I told you. And excited. Kendall's very excited. I told I, you. I think exactly. things like that just hurts the kids' feelings. Of course it does. But I didn't hurt the kids' feelings because Abby asked me. I even told you. I told you guys all yesterday. She said, what do you think of the duet? And I said, I'm so excited. And she goes, well, it's a step down. That's what she said to me. Melissa just lied right to my face. She told me she was happy about the duet with Kendall. And Abby told me the exact opposite. Melissa, you're busted. You lied to me. And let's face it, they're all different levels. They all have their strengths and their weaknesses. I think But it's not fair for a teacher to say one kid's too good to dance with another or for a mother to agree with it. And that's, I don't know how it went down, but that's what Abby led me to believe. Well, you can believe whatever you want to, Jill. If you really want to call it out, then maybe you should say something in front of Abby. Yeah, but think of it this way. If Abby had to pick whose side she's going to take, I mean... Oh, I don't know about if that. If honesty's not the best policy and she's going to pick a side, I mean, I'm going to be. Abby is not going to want to be the one who is accused of lying. I think she'll choose her own side because if Melissa's calling her a liar, Abby's not going to stand for being called a liar. That's a big arch back, Kendall.
So Abby, I have a question about, you came right out and said, Melissa said she doesn't want to do the duet. We were discussing the duet and she said, I'm not too crazy about it either. That's that not what was I said. her words. I'm not too crazy about not having a solo is what I said. Well, I think everybody in this room knows you have a selective memory. I did not say that. Come on, Melissa, your ex-husband told me how many times were you on the phone with me telling me this, telling me that. You'd hang up with me and call somebody else and rip all over me. I have been so dedicated to that studio. You are the person that is love the one you're with. If, if your kid's doing a duet with Chloe, you're up Christie's butt. Yay! Da -da 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 -da. Come on. You know, Melissa, if she's with me, she agrees with my opinion. If she's sitting next to Jill, she's going to tell Jill whatever Jill wants to hear. The world according to Abby. It's Unfortunately, Abby, you're not God, so it's not the world according to Abby. Well, in this studio, guess what? Guess what? You know what my thoughts are on that? I think this studio needs revamped, and I think the garbage needs to be taken out, and I think that starts with you. When Abby comes out, it's like the scene from Jurassic Park. We're all sitting in our cars, and like, here comes the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Holly's not moving, but I'm thinking, thank God, Holly, because they can sense movement. All right, what do we have? And you don't have popcorn ready? I have popcorn ready. I'll go for it. Do you want a small one? Small popcorn. Shall I bring up the fact that you're wearing chaps now or later? Uh, you're wearing for you. This is all for you. In the drops and shit. Oh my god, will you stop? You're embarrassing Kendall. Jill. <laughs> Jill. I learned this from Mackenzie. Look at her face. Lower, and then lower, this. Lower. <laughs> Light my fire. And it's hip hop. This week our group dance is hip hop. And I'm really excited, but none of us can hip or hop. Good, Abby, she's gonna stretch, even but, though she doesn't have a solo or much to do this week. She's she's part of the okay, team, so, so we came. Up your what? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, you made her part of the team, even though she doesn't have much going yeah. on. You're busy with yeah. everybody else. I just well, don't like her to have, yeah. to feel a part of something. I'm gonna do what I need to do to make sure that Abby knows exactly what Kendall can bring to this group of dancers. I'm just Even though you're on probation, my daughter. you're the new man on the totem pole, it's the Abby Lee Dance Company. If you don't like it, right. This is me trying to work my way up. Right. I will do what you tell me, but I'm asking you, when can Kendall have a solo? When can Kendall be more a part of what everybody else gets a part of? But you need to tell your mother to knock Grace. it off. She's gonna get you in trouble. I hope that she doesn't think Kendall being off probation is a free-for-all for her to give her opinions. When are you gonna do Kendall's headpiece and worry about her costume? You're all worried about theirs. Let her dance! Brooke is one dance after Mackenzie. She has not run her dance with her. She didn't help her with the headpiece. She didn't look at her hair. You know what, Kelly? Be happy your child has a solo. She didn't even oh, have... Shut up. This kid doesn't have a solo the same as yours. You did not just tell me to shut up. Yes! I don't appreciate Kelly telling me to shut up. You don't tell anybody to shut up. She has a solo! I got nothing! Okay, okay. Well, last week, should I have complained because yours had a solo and neither yes, one of mine did? I'm so tired of Jill stepping in where she doesn't belong. It's like she never stops talking. Brooke was Enough. not here. Stop. She came back, she got a solo. She's at the top. Be happy with that. Be I just wonder now that. making her happy. You need to keep your eye on the ball in the big picture. What is my big picture? Every weekend, do I have to look forward to coming, dancing behind Maddie and Chloe, and never being put in a trio, never doing a solo. I get nothing, Abby. You're telling me look at the big picture, and I am, and I don't like it. I don't know. I don't know what is wrong with her. Is it a true clean slate for everyone, or are you still taking things that happen? I have to take things that happen with everybody into consideration. So it could be, I still don't want you, you're not gonna be here, and it's not worth trying, because. I don't know, Carrie, answer your own question. Where are you going? Thank you for your time. Can she say goodbye? Yes, sir. <laughs> it's the best. You know, Carrie didn't get a good start from the start. And the problem is, if Abby doesn't like you, she makes it miserable for your child. And Peyton's so little, 
was so young that I think Carrie made the right decision and just not sticking it out. Abby was gonna cut her anyway. I can't, I can't physically do it. I get so much weight, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> she is useless. What are you supposed to say when all the kids go to the playground? Sorry, my dance teacher said no kickball. Abby doesn't want Mackenzie to play during recess. If it were up to Abby, Mackenzie wouldn't be allowed to have any friends at all. Well, you know, just because no one played with Abby at recess doesn't mean she has to take it out on poor little Mackenzie. You know, obviously I like want to go to the competition this weekend, but I really don't want to see Abby or Gianna. I just, we didn't really leave on good terms and they didn't no. really have nice things to say about me. If we could remove Abby from the picture, that would be a whole different story. Maybe the federal government will help us with that. True story. called Say Something, Say Anything. It's a contemporary routine, and you'll be in the senior division for the first time. Now imagine that a girl is talking to a guy, but the guy duh, just stands there, kind of, you know, playing with his phone, looking at his feet. Kalani, you're dancing to Abby's life. No, no. <laughs> Girls, I'm begging you, please, 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 please. Don't have 50 other activities planned instead of this. Um, I, I, Abby, Friday is Kendall's music video. Friday's either a bus day or a travel day or, you know, so it really sh won't take away from us. I mean, they will still get the same amount of rehearsal. I just want you to be prepared. All of the teenagers, Cameron included, they're going to be in Kendall's video. Right, well, I think I'm pretty accommodating. Like, I, I think I have it in my head. I'm set up for it. Okay. Jill is acting like, like it is the biggest thing since sliced bread was sold in supermarkets. I'm sure Jill can remember that because I'm sure she's that old, but I don't care. You're a big liar. Really? Such a liar. Mm, no one believes you. Interesting. I don't believe you. And you, you don't, but everybody else does. That's scary. I feel so sorry for your patience. I'm not really worried about your but I'm assessment you what of me. And I don't deal with dissociative identity disorder in my practice. Oh, wow. Oh, just got diagnosed. You're just a bitch. At least I'm only one bitch. You're like three bitches. All your different personalities. Oh, wow. With all your personalities, I gotta call you like bitch one, two, three. <laughs> Will the real one please stand up? You want your daughter to be Chloe? And she can dance well. Okay, Choker, did 30 million kids vote for your kid for Teen Choice? My daughter did three movies in the last year. She wrote a book, she won Teen Choice. You choked people, because that's classy. I didn't choke her. I didn't yeah, choke you, her. Did. you choked your BFF. Nothing happened, witnesses saw it. That's exactly what happened. Excuse me, that's defamation when you say it was choking. Oh. She just simply had her hands right there. Resting. Yeah. Resting. Yeah. I hold my friends oh, like this too. Goodness. Holly, yes. how are you today? I'm doing well. How are you today? This, this is a this uh, is a warm and friendly this touch. This is a hug. One, two, three. Yeah. Awesome. Christy, does Chloe have a solo? I guess she doesn't have a solo. Wow. Where's mine? No, that one's mine. If you don't want to be the next Chloe, then why don't you stop talking about her? Stop saying your name. Does Chloe have a solo? Yolanda. I would tread very lightly. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, I have dealt with bigger, badder, meaner, drunker. Go the f way. You Nine. left for She's three years. Yes, I did. And my daughter's been doing amazing things. And I finished what I started. Dance? Shut your mouth. With dance? Shut your mouth. With dance? 
Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth, bitch. You are going to be I'm really saying. sorry. I promise you. But this is a competitive you. dance competition. Right. Grab your phone. I'll take a Very picture good. with you. Because I know that's Very what you good. want. I don't even, honestly, all of your what? best no, fantasies no, are to be me. You're not me. Never going to be me. <laughs> your kid's never going to be Chloe. Never going to be me. Never going to be me. I'm done. 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 I don't know who Christy thinks she is right now, but I'm not going to bow down to anybody. A lot of defensive nature. Get away from me. Go away. Get the away from me. Go away. Get the away from me. Talent. Get the prevails. Talent prevails. You watch. You're so sorry you said that. Really? Talent prevails. This oh, yeah, it does. You yeah. won. You know what? You, you won. won. You won. this anymore because we keep coming back and you keep leaving you've abandoned them you didn't even see their dances yesterday i think the kids uh, yes i did <clears throat> how'd you see the group you weren't in there on videotape but the kids that's not the same that's like my saying i went to the moon because i saw a picture of the moon that's not the same thing they need a hearing has been canceled no the sentencing will be rescheduled by further order of the court no future date has been given no uh -huh. way uh-huh how is that possible? I, t I can't that's even. A, that's got to be a joke. As a taxpayer, I'm annoyed. Mom, could you go get me the costume so I can run through? I just want you to know that Cameron's original dress that I picked, I left it at home. I'm having Wait! What? Forget the basketball game day. How do you forget your glove when you're at the World Series? How on good God's grace of an earth did you forget the child's costume series? I don't know. We all know Abby's such a control freak. Mm -hmm. And when you go through a court process, it's so out of your control. Dates and deadlines and what's gonna happen. And that is, in itself, I think, would drive somebody crazy. And then wondering if you're going to jail at the yeah. end of it. Yeah. You know, at least I'm not going to I jail. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you will have closure. She'll have a different kind of closure, like <laughs> cha-ching. <laughs> My boyfriend knows how much I spend on dance because he signs the checks. Oh. <laughs> nope, they're look. Can you tell us about the solo? So if I call you up, just step forward, please. Nia. Chloe. Kalani. You three have solos. Are the OGs? Uh, Kalani's not an OG. Kendall is. I just said you two are OGs. Oh, I thought the you said you People stepping guys. up. God, go back on vacation. <laughs> so um, I heard you loud and clear last week, and this is your nationals, and you have to represent. Like no joke. The technique has to be on point. The musicality, the performance. Okay, as if this is your final bout. Like this is it. So. Blood, sweat, and tears this week, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be tough. I'm gonna be super tough on you guys, but rise up to the occasion, okay? All right. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you. How did you pick them? Each kid, I know the OGs, how did you pick Kalani or? Because, you know, these are the girls to me that have really improved throughout my time here, and 
they've just proved to me that, you know, they deserve a chance and this is their nationals, so. It's all of their nationals and it's, it's and some of these kids have been here a long, long time. That's fine, but are you, if you're talking about your daughter, you guys missed out last week, so that's not my problem. Kalani missed out last week too, she was hurt. But she, she didn't was still here, she was still part of the group. Uh, I know, I know, it's just a little hurtful, that's all. Thank you, thank you for everything I've done for seven years, it's fine. All right, are you done bitching? We are going there, and she will be at the competition. Kathy, surprise! She's like a cold sore that just keeps coming back, like, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. And you're like, God, go away already. Sitting in the audience, I'm looking at Abby, and she's sitting over there crying hysterically. I thought you were supposed to save those tears for your pillow, Ab. You've lost it, Abby. You've been doing it too long. You're stale. My stale is better than your best day will ever be. <laughs> Look in the mirror, girlfriend. Look in the mirror. Please. Don't eat me, Abby. Don't eat me. You know what? <laughs> the moms are really bad at explaining the cult. I think it's just a bunch of moms fighting. I'm just ready to drink the Kool-Aid and dance. <laughs> I don't even know what the Kool-Aid is. A lot of issues with everything at this studio. Your kid has already had a piece taken off of her and given to mine. My biggest issue at this studio is your stupidity. I am not stupid. I'm happy to be here. Why are we going this way? Are we getting on the turnpike? If you're getting on the turnpike, you're going the wrong way. She's telling me to do. Who is? GPS. The GPS isn't paying you. Where are you going? So this poor guy is just doing his job, and all of a sudden, he sees this black cloud coming at him. Shut your big mouth, and I'll tell you who started it. Shut the blank up. Apparently the greatest thing that's ever happened in Jill's life is that Kendall was off probation because she was just grins from ear to ear. She was like the Cheshire cat. Do you believe this woman has every degree under the sun and never closed a bar until recently? I've never closed a bar. You guys are so far away. We gotta get a little closer. What degrees do you have? I have a bachelor's, a master's, and a doctorate. A that's what we wanted to be a plastic surgeon. She didn't mention that her doctorate is from Penn. Like the people who make the tennis balls? I bet I bet your neck hurts. Yeah, because your brain is so big. I think it was funny that they were flirting with Holly. Dr. Holly was getting the moves put on her at the pool. OK, who, who will give me their numbers so I can call you? Drool. Where do those guys come from? Why don't they go back there? Here, are you kind of in limbo still with Abby? Has she given you a definitive answer about your stay here with Kalani, are you staying? I don't know, did Abby leaving? ever give an infinitive answer? I feel like it's like, <laughs> I feel like she's like, here's your jacket and here's your pants, but we'll let you know after Saturday if you're coming back. She is maybe overzealous and wants to make connections here in LA. I don't, I don't know. Did you say I'm overjealous? Over no, zealous. zealous. Oh, what zealous? That's overenthusiastic. Oh. I don't really care what you think of me. I really don't. I don't care what you think. Some with three baby daddies and a criminal record, I could care less what you think about me. Just keep coming with them, Ashley. This is I what I mean. All day long. How this long do you want to stay? This is what here? I'm talking How about. How long do you want to stay? You're here? a real pathetical person. Pathetical isn't a word. I thought you had a master's degree. Did you not know that pathetical isn't a word, but you have a master's degree? You can sit here and say all you want, Ashley. Sit there with your liposuction and your plastic surgery and your tummy tuck. Lorianne's big complaint about why these girls aren't winning is because of their stamina. Stamina? Stamina. 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 Hi, Miss Kira. Really quick, we are all, except for the two little ones, standing out in the parking lot. Abby showed up and um, said she was under duress. Duress. So we left. So Kira? Yes? Do you have a flat screen TV I could buy from you? I don't. What was that article about? I have no idea. You didn't see it? No. I'll send it to you. I think based on what this article's trying to do is trying to connect the people on this competition team with links of trouble path because of Abby's history. So that just means anyone's fair game. If you've done something, they're digging in your closet because it gets good fodder for sensational tablet. And that is sensational. <gasps> That's bad. Exclusive. 
Dance Mom star Kira Gerard arrested for theft and fraud. That's bad news right there. So what happened? What do you mean what happened? Was it true? It was like in 2003, in so I can't like, I couldn't say that I really remember exactly what went on because it was literally like 10 years ago. And you admitted to creating the tracking numbers for the merchandise but didn't ship the products? I'm not to talk about it. I love the choreography that Kendall was given. Yeah, I do too. It's different. Sorry. It's different for her. I think she was she capable of so much. The choreography was game. different for Kendall. It's the same thing we always see. Not from Kendall. Oh, yes, from Kendall. The storyline might have been different, but the choreography was the same. The choreography was in keeping with the piece. We didn't, you know, we weren't out in Kenya doing the oh, African tribal stuff, and then all of a sudden we're doing PK, PK, suit to do, suit to do. You don't. No African tribal stuff? If you're gonna say Catherine Dunham, stay in it. Stay there. Don't put the PK turns in. Oh my God. Well, Kendall stayed true to her choreography, which was flailing around the stage the whole time with no type of technique involved at all. You have to applaud Kathy for being brave enough to bring something to the stage. Oh, brave my ass. <laughs> See you in jail, honey. That's all she's got. Let her have it. That's all she's got. Her thesaurus is only this big. Yeah. Can we spell felon? Tweedledee and Tweedledum laid into her about her bow in her hair. That was rude. We don't make fun of Yolanda's whatever she's got going on. The group number, it's gonna be a lyrical piece. It's called The Coven. Are they witches? Yes, you are witches. Channel your mother. You guys are bitches and they're witches. <laughs> Perfect. Call me a bitch in front of my daughter. That's ridiculous. She needs to know what she's living with. If you learned one thing this past weekend, everyone's replaceable. Not quite expecting that this will be the way that we would end our several seasons together, but we will not be coming back next week. The girls will compete next week, but they're not gonna compete under ALDC. We're bringing a new choreographer. Thank you for a great platform, but we will not be continuing. We thought we had said our goodbyes three weeks ago when you right. left. Right. So that was That's closure. Fine. We moved on, and it's too hard to kind of go backwards. So. Well, it's good. What's the matter with all of them? Because it's hard. It's hard for me. Because you have done a lot for Kalani, and I know you adore her, but you said your goodbye, and you left them. For three weeks. And we didn't think you were ever coming back, and a lot. Well, they leave all the time, too. No, they okay. don't. You left about two years ago when those two little ones walked in. You were done with our kids. You said well, you didn't you want them. No, feel that way. I don't feel no, that Abby, way. No, Abby, we feel that way because you said no. it, and the children I, no. felt that way. What you probably don't realize is that in your delivery, some of the things that you've said over the years hurt the kids in profound ways that none of us ever expect. We didn't expect. know. We didn't know until you were gone and they had a they had purged themselves of the, the, the fact that you might come back because mm -hmm. you said you were finished. I think they learned a lot about themselves from your three-week hiatus, vacation, absence. For that they have to a seat for you okay. right over there. And I think the most important thing really is that they did a lot of soul searching and a lot came out of from that experience. I think the biggest issue for me that my coming back would be a bad thing. Kendall from the day she walked into the studio, I, I thought this kid's face has to be somewhere. Dear. I don't know if you would have been able to do this for Kendall without me. I feel this building $298,000 that I built so your kids can have a place to dance. But why is it about you? What about our kids? That's what I did. But, but I spent a lot of money. You what guys you did it. You, nobody did it. Do you regret it? Oh, I regret everything. I, I regret a ton of things. I regret it. Well, I'm sorry you have regrets. You're oh, the one who taught regrets. our kids no, don't live with regrets. I know. 
I, I teach by <laughs> poor example, but I don't make the same mistakes I made. So. Do you want these kids to dance with you? Because I think they don't feel wanted, Abby. Of course I do. Of course I do. I, I don't even want to start that yeah, conversation. It's the end. Right, this what? is it. I never dreamed in a million years. I'm not going to say stabbed in the back. Woo! Oh. But okay. I never, yeah. I We're never done. thought. All right, thank you for your time, Abby. Neither, Neither, did, way. Neither right. did we. No, we didn't either. <laughs> There's not a lot of time. There's so much going that on. That bucket here. of chicken was so good. She did. <laughs> Get to my kids, put your phone away. You preach theater etiquette, put it away. Hi, Abby. I don't know, I think I'm gonna go to Baskin Robbins. There, she's right there. We're gonna have to speed up a little. She's zooming, dude. <laughs> you want to go in and check? To the police station? Yeah. There, she, she's right there. She's literally right behind you. What? We found her. We found her. What are you doing? I'm filing a police report. Nobody is going to verbally assault me at a dance competition. You preach theater etiquette to my kids. Put your phone away. My only choice was to remove myself from a situation that could escalate to something more. I'm putting a stop to this. Did you really just call me not good enough? Oh, yeah, dude. She doesn't believe in you. Don't even get upset about it. I thought she was coming out of jail nicer. But we're talking about Abby Lee Miller. Okay, so that's gonna be it for my compilation video moment. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I worked really hard on it and there was, you know, a lot of material to go over, but I really just wanted to throw all of it together and just like have a bunch of parallels and like niche moments that I don't really see people talking about. So I feel like I covered a lot of moments and hopefully I didn't forget anything too egregious. If I do, I might do a part two to this, but yeah, I thought it was really fun to do and I really enjoyed it. If you wanted to see more Dance Moms content, I have a playlist. It'll be on the end screen at some point. It'll also be linked down below in the description and you can see all the other stuff that I've done. And I just posted my review of season seven and I have reviews of the first seven seasons of the show. I did my favorite Chloe solos, my favorite Maddie solos, my favorite group dances, and more content will be to come. So subscribe if you want to see more of it for the next few weeks at least. I got a couple. But thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a like down below. It helps me out a lot. Any YouTube algorithm, I very much appreciate it. And you can also share this if you would like. And you can subscribe if you would like to see more content. And usually I do a lot of music content, you know, just talking about, you know, some of my favorite artists, music at large and stuff like that. So you can subscribe to see that and just like the other stuff that I post on here as well. If you hit the bell, you get notifications from when I post video. You do not miss when a brand new video comes out. The first link down below in the description is going to be my main channel. So a lot of times I'm doing album reactions and album reviews over there. I post every single week. Also going to have Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, TikTok, and my earbuds free Palestine. This is something that we must educate ourselves on. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.